first. It took me a long time to realize you can get out. Uh, low federation level. Monthly cohesion. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I do this. Yeah? Oh my god. Uh... Are you sure you wish to propose lo low federation centralization? I'm not gay, but willing to learn. Oh, word. My partner's a real handful. My partner is my dick. Oh. He's in the military and I could ruin his life. Oh, yeah. But there's also that fucking nagging feeling that if it goes wrong, I'm going to make sure it worse. What do you mean if it goes wrong? I mean, you don't have to talk about it here if you don't want to. I feel like I'm being nosy. That sucks, though. I'm sorry. I'm never going to judge anyone else's situation. I would never pressure you to do anything. Like, everybody's life is their personal shit, you know? I mean, if you want my personal opinion, from what you're saying, he sounds like a piece of shit, and I wouldn't give a fuck about ruining his life for the R word, uh, but I'm pretty polarized on the rape thing. Boo, Daxton, I'm sorry. Wow, Annie Geek, that's sick. I tell her that my grounds for divorce are her parents, but why divorce when murdering the laws is... I know, right? Like, word. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna say yes. Sick. Vote yes. Uh... Okay, we're going with it. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is alarming. These screens are new, but I like it. <gasps> Assign envoys. Oh my god, available! Wait, cancel. I want to... Assign an envoy? Federation fleets, nothing. Uh, am I just like, okay, yeah, assign my envoys. I want to assign you everywhere. Go do your thing. Do envoy stuff. Hey, Glass Katie, how's this game? It's fucking great. I played it on Xbox Game Pass for a day and then went and spent $90 on the website and bought every single piece of uh, game D DLC I possibly could. And I don't drop money on games easily. I'm pretty uh stubborn. The Coalition of Independent Systems complete. vote to change to low federation centralization. Awesome. I win. Okay. Sick. You're all good. You're good. Why are you still telling me what to do? Is it like, okay, we're good. We're there. Fleet contribution low? Yes. Uh, fuck. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's really fun. It can get very complicated, but it's really fun. Okay, real talk. Would you give up sex for love? Like, say your partner became handicapped? No. Because System sex, survey complete. Sex to me isn't about love. Like, they're not. They're not one in the same. Special project complete. You know what I mean? I can fuck other people and love one person. A different person. I don't love the people I fuck. Like, I don't love every single person I fuck. You know what I mean? Those are separate things to me. So, like, if my person I'm super in love with became crippled, like, hopefully whoever I'm with believes in the lifestyle I believe in, which is non-monogamy, not polygamy, or polyamory. I'm not into like loving more than one person. That is way too much work. A fucking a bunch of people. Like, as long as you're safe and clean about it, like, sex is just sex, just fun. If I wasn't asexual, yeah, I'd gladly drop sex to love and support my homie, right? There's nothing wrong with being asexual, though. There's lots out there. Lots of people just don't even know the term. I think I dated one. Fascinating creatures. Okay. 
Okay. It's just sitting there. Right. Science ship. You. Anything else? Nope. Anything else? Nope. Anything here? Nope. Anything? Oh, survey that system. Crippled does not equal no sex. Exactly. I was going to say, I didn't want to get like graphic about it, but I'm in love with that person. We will find a way to fuck, you know? Like, the person that you've already been fucking, especially if you've already been fucking them, like, they've seen your asshole, they've seen you in the weirdest, sweatiest positions, like, you will find a way to fuck. You know? I don't know. I would. There's a reason why sex can be bought and marriage cannot. I mean, marriage can be bought if you, like, you know, overseas shit. Ooh, aliens. An abandoned life pod. <gasps> Interesting. Get them. Ooh, Reese. Oh, no, this. Um, that. Yes. Toys amazing word. I found out during the stay at home, I'm Polly. I'm also in a committed relationship, so both a new thing for myself and my partner. Nice, like polyamorous? Sorry, I'm trying to get it all correct and I don't ever wanna like mislabel anybody. I totally thought I was asexual, but it turns out I was just not feeling supported by my partner. I identify as demisexual, so it takes me feeling trust and compatible with a, another person before I even think about sex with them. That's pretty common, I think, especially in people who are just like more emotional, like in touch with their feelings types of people. For sure. For sure, for sure. I want to go, I want to take that bitch, move there. Polyamorous, dope. I didn't know that term until I was in college. Um, someone in my class told us a story about their polyamory and I was like, the fuck is that? I had no clue. I was so shut in as a kid. Just like uh, not, not exposed to things like that. Yeah, Daxton, I feel like your sexuality is your business and nobody else's. And you can be as fluid or as concrete with it as you want. Personally. To me, sex is just fucking fun. It's just like something dope I can do with another person. And if I'm like... System survey complete. Getting a vibe from them, like I'm down. But like, I can only really love one person, I think. I can't really do... That multiple relationship thing just seems like a lot of unnecessary work your bits you decide what to do with them exactly as long as it's consensual and legal which by the way i don't know if i need to say this but uh if you're 18 or under if you're under the age of 18 you literally can't even decide that you cannot consent because you are a child that's facts in case anyone was wondering um there's a planet right there i want to colonize, colonize that go there please uh, construction ships. Where are you? No, you should go here. Go here. Build a star base. Do good things. Thank you. Uh. Uh. What's this? Oh, the C word consent. Fucking A, dude. Maybe I should change my name to consensual Katie instead of glassy Katie. Maybe that'll get the point across. As before you touch someone. Yeah, there was a tweet, Anne Marion, Anne Marion, that I saw on Twitter that said, um, no doesn't mean convince me System later. Survey complete. I liked that one. That was very poignant. No does not mean convince me later. Our civilization's obsession with the sex acts that they aren't involved in personally is so redonk. Imagine how much more peaceful things would be if no one ever gave a shit about what happens in others' bedrooms. Right? Like, why is it anyone's business? That's what bothers me about, like, a lot of organized religion and shit is it's like they're just all about controlling your life. And I don't want nobody is going to control what I do at any moment in my life. That System is all me. Complete. I just anybody that's telling me how to live my life. Like, I just it seems so Special bizarre. Project to me. Complete. I will say quarantine is significantly up my burger game. Good. I've lost weight during quarantine. But I think that's stress. Except for those weird as fuck women who are like, I told him no and he stopped chasing me. I can't believe that's just, that's an illness in itself. That's an illness in itself. What's crazy is how sex overseas in America and how it's talked about are so different. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you think about it, 
our nation was founded by Puritans. Like, you know, Carla up to here, no angles, don't found. look at me. Chitties don't exist. Like, that's what we were founded on. So we're still trying to erase that bullshit. Years and years and years and years of thinking the human body's dirty. The only reason I'm so okay with human bodies is because I worked in medicine and I've seen thousands of human bodies naked in every way, shape, or form. Bodies don't scare me anymore. I've seen every fucking body that exists. A body is a body is a body. They all function exactly the same. Exactly. I still like to get off, but that feeling literally only lasts 30 minutes and it's like once every other day or so. I mean, that's something. Does it bother you? Like, is it more like an annoyance or like, do you ever give in to it? Cocky, it's true, yeah. You've seen my body when? I've seen so, literally. In the hospital, because I worked in ICUs for so long, ICUs, you don't have any, any, there's no shame. Like, you're, you, we put like a piece of tissue on you and we're like, sorry, we're gonna be in your genitals all day. Like, it's just all sense of personal space is removed in a hospital. So I've just, I'm so immune. Body's a body's a body, nothing phases me. There's also the fact that since my egg got cracked, I fucking suddenly understand the dysphoria behind masturbation. Oh my God, do explain because I do not under, I have no idea what you're talking about and I would love to be more informed. My family wasn't Puritans. My family's like pretty fresh. We aren't first generation. My Nana's mom was first generation from Ireland and my grandfather's mother was from Germany. His parents were from Germany. So I wasn't Puritan. My family's filthy, obviously. But I wish they wouldn't have left. Like the fuck? I know like Ireland had famines and shit, but ah. Slay gamers, I'm kind of the same. Not numb, but just like I have a different view of it, I guess. No, not at all. I'm comfortable talking with um I'm comfortable with it and talking about it. I just haven't found the right person who would also be comfortable with it. And it's not like I'm actively looking for a relationship. No, absolutely. Completely understand. It's interesting for me because I'm like, if there's a spectrum, you are black and I'm white. Like I'm that hypersexual child that's been humping things since I was three years old. And the asexual portion of it or any spectrum of the asexuality is just like so out of my scope of understanding. It's fun to, uh, to listen. I like talking about it. You know, it's just like conversation. I don't know. It's fun to learn. I love learning about people. It's almost crazy, crazy how Greeks relationships, they would have just disappeared and now non-monogamy and poly with any sex they were so used to is coming back to the front with relationships. I think the internet has done a lot for that. Because at first, you know, we really weren't cultured as a society. Like there was no culturing us as a society. The most you got was whatever the newspaper showed you. But with the internet, we're so open to so many different lifestyles. People that would have loved those kind of lifestyles see them and are like, oh, fuck yeah, that's me. Even though their parents didn't teach them. Whereas back in the day, you know, you were pretty much whatever your parents taught you. Isn't in my family, same, mine neither. Like my Nana was a filthy alcoholic uh, Irish woman. I loved her. Meet Anne Marie, Anne Marie, Anne Marie. I don't know why I want to call you that. Anne Marion, I'm the exact same. The difference of humans is amazing. Porn has cultured us. Well, absolutely. But it also kind of destroyed people. Cause like I fucked a virgin and he straight up thought it was going to be like porn. And I was like, no, it's like funny and slimy and weird. And there's fart noises and nothing looks good. Like good sex probably looks terrible. She made me feel really insecure and terrible about it. Oh, Mel, that's pretty sweet, though. That was very nice of her to message you, but that is... I mean, I'm sure I inadvertently have made... Like, that one ex that I dated that I'm pretty sure should have been some level of asexual. Um, I would, like, break down, like, every couple of months, just bawling my eyes out, like, why won't you have sex with me? Am I ugly? Is there something wrong with me? All the time. And I'm sure, like, inadvertently that made him feel terrible, but I was quite literally dying inside dying because I thought I was incomplete or something and that's when I got really fat I ate my feelings it was a bad time good sex looks really terrible that is the motto dude that is the most real thing also normalized teaching soldiers emotional control anger oh dude I mean the whole like military uh police the whole like man's club thing has to go away that 
that mentality of ganging up. And the same for women, I'm sorry. Uh, I consider myself a feminist and I'm not anti-men. Anti-men is not being a feminist. Like that's crazy to me. That mentality is weird. You shouldn't be anti stuff, anti anything, unless you're anti-racist, like obviously. Destroy toxic mass, destroy toxic entity, toxicness. Yeah. Just being an asshole. Yeah, I just can't with that. Like just anti that shit. I'm over it. Some of the best sex I've had was pretty System vanilla. Regular complete. dude, a raid at 100% doggy style and missionary are where I come 100% of the time. Other stuff feels good and is super fun, but I'm not guaranteed to get anywhere because I don't know what the fuck's going on. That shit though, fucking sometimes it's just like that slow, nasty, wet, sweaty sex that's the best. Absolutely. Research complete. I think Zeke tweeted about that a long time ago. Right when we first started dating, he tweeted something like, um, in your 20s, in your 20s, something, something, in your 30s, you know, missionaries, probably the best. Or if you're in your 30s, something about missionary. It was really funny. Her boyfriend won't admit to her that he's asexual. That's Anna Geek. That's exactly how I was. I mean, I, it was terrible. I don't want to out his dirty trash in case he's out there. Who the fuck knows? Yeah, I felt terrible. I was dying inside. I'm anti-racist, anti, you know, hate, that kind of stuff. Oh, nine times. That's that's a lot. My vagina would be calloused. And when you're 60, fear sexy. Exactly. So, and I wrecked a hotel suite in Reno to the point I got a bill for it later. The first and only time Zeke came to visit me in Baltimore. No, the second time he came to visit me in Baltimore, we broke my bed frame in half. My metal, my steel bed frame in half. The one that PB bought me. Great sex, though. What are you going to do? At least it wasn't my rib. <laughs> James, go fuck yourself. <laughs> yes, I do. They still hurt a little. Yes, I do. <clears throat> yes, I do. I acutely remember it. I live for the Chad. You guys are the best part about this. The game, like, I can't play a game like this just sitting here by myself quietly. I don't know how anybody does that. If I'm if I'm chilling, playing a game, I'm in bed with the TV on and my cell phone, and I'm like going through Twitter while I'm playing a game. I'm so ADHD, I feed off of it. I love having an active chat. You guys are dope. I come here for you. Fuck the game. Current relationship, we broke hotel bedboard and her bed spring. That's the way you do it, dude. Um, recently, my uh, significant other broke my ribs. So I'm there with you guys. It's not a joke. <laughs> Had to go to the ER. Still haven't opened the bill. I'm very scared. When I met up with my SO, we had so much sex in two days. He couldn't walk straight. Dude, that was Zeke and I. The first time we met up and we like, you know, we went, we had to meet in person. We were like flirtatiously, you know, talking very regularly. And then he came out to visit me for the first time and we fucked so much, everything hurt. Like my leg muscles hurt, my stomach muscles hurt. Like Zeke's lost weight because of the fucking, like every part of me hurt. And it doesn't, I run, like I work out. I'm not a not in shape person. Fuck muscles are different. Fuck muscles are different. All this hot talk of hot sex right in, right in the gender dysphoria. Oh, honey. You can always talk about that here, you know. Just because there's a bunch of us freaks that love sex, you can always talk about it with us. I'm just talking about me. Yeah, I love reading your guys' input, though. Oh, God, the nails. Maybe wash under them, too. I dated a mechanic once. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it works. I'm telling you, if you find someone who wants to get fucked all the time, it works. That's a lot of muscle stuff. Muscles. I I am my SO's second sexual partner, so sex is vanilla, but there's times where they're going at like crazy, so we keep those quickies. We have like having 
with having like two weeks apart, then fucking finally, and then two weeks off till repeating the cycle. Dude, whatever works for you, man, that's fucking awesome. Fuck away the pounds, exactly. What up, Gary Bobby? How are you? What a weird conversation to come into. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Hypa, hypa? No. I, you know, I have so many questions about this new fad of the dragon nails. Like these women that spend hundreds of dollars to get these insanely long, like, talons. How do you function? I don't know. I barely function, and it's just the white of my nails showing. Like, this is too long for me. Uh, same. My butthole would be shredded. And we talk about Gentiles. It's true. It's gold. Hypa Hypa is like this weird pop metal fusion song all done with a video that's a bust, a gut, funny. You should, will you put it in our Discord? I'd love to look at it. Hundreds of dollars on mate. Thank you so much for the resub. This is where you do everything consensually. It's wonderful. I've had my dick clawed by a huh? Huh? No. I cut myself. Like when my nails get too long, I'll legitimately the channel keeping the classy live and giving an anus its wings. Sergeant Schultz, the fuck, dude. Thank you so much for that motherfucking tier one sob. <gasps> a month one. That's not gifted. Holy shit. Hail Satan, motherfucker. Hail Satan, motherfucker. There we go. A little bit lower. Eh. Uh, a little bit. Eh. Uh, whatever. Hail Satan, bitch. <laughs> Thank you. I actually nailed my boyfriend's dick when we first had sex. I mean, I've had choo, a week. Choo, <laughs> Titan Pain Train! Am I gonna sit? <laughs> I gotta sit next Titan to this thing. Pain train. And you wonder why. Satan needs some work. You're right. I don't know why it keeps changing. What did I do wrong? What happened? Thank you, Cocky, for five gifted subs in my channel. What the fuck? Dude. Tessa Piazza. Tui Bite. Brasso. Crash Test Dummy. And Sultana Surge. You are all now bow wizards of the highest order. He does sound like he has a mouth. You know what I think? I think I know what it is. Hold up. I think I know what it is. Uh. Holy fuck. Pajames. Thank you very much for sharing your small money with me. I am going to put it towards my medical bills for my ribs. Not a joke. I don't even know what it is yet. It's on my microwave. Thank you. Thank you. It's a personality and I love it. It's just me. Some people are shocked. I've had people shocked when they meet me in real life to like see that I'm the exact same person. It's always interesting. Wow, you really do cuss a lot. And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> a little bit, a little lot of it. A little lot, a little bit. Schlorp. Oh, unpause please, thank you. Your ribs are on your microwave. The the medical bill for my ribs, my American metal, medical bill. I know this is very hard for, um, people elsewhere to grasp, but in America, we have to pay for our health care. And I'm very scared to open that uh, bill because I had to go to the ER. <laughs> I did something bad. Yeah, Rod, I'm the, literally like, I can't fake it. I don't have the energy or the want to make a character. I have like RP characters, but to do that all the time, like I'm exhausted doing a four hour RP session. That music got really epic for a minute. The bill is unopened. Yes, it is. It's on my microwave. I just got it yesterday. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to cut cussing from my everyday vocabulary. Why? You should never limit your vocabulary because of someone else's opinion of you. 
unless it's a racist bigoted horrible like term obviously that should go without saying i don't have to tell you that how do we get you to open it live on stream my heart just went into my throat just thinking about it i don't know mm. i don't want to know what it is i'll open it eventually zeke will make me zeke doesn't know it's there yet so he'll make me open it construction complete yeah absolutely dude do what makes you comfortable. Medical bills are one thing that Canada looks down at the basement apartment and wonder what the fuck those fools are doing. Ooh. Ooh, colony ship. Let's do this. System survey complete. Research, duh. Um, I would like to go there, please. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted to do, but sure. Yeah, our medical bills are absolutely fucked, but what are you going to do? America, the land of you be. I can't make you. Oh, the Federation fleet is over its maximum capacity. Ah. Special project complete. Oh my god. I didn't get blood work. They did check my pee. God knows how much that cost. I don't even want to know. 8,000 for fuck's sake. Don't put me in a heart attack like that. Yuck. Ugh. Um, we had a lot of meth labs in my hometown, but none of them blew up. Uh, they were caught usually before the new blowing frontiers up. New established. <gasps> a new founded colony? The stoner's colony is alive! Okay, please make me some money. Thank you so much. Lots and lots of money. And... Anomaly found. Money. Research, please. Saw someone share a thing on Twitter. Got a $52,000 bill for some type of cancer that is curable. Whoa. They both had COVID tests done. One was charged 199, the other 6K. The person charged 6K had insurance. Wow. Why you ask? It just so happened his brother came into the same hospital's ER and they crossed the blood samples. What the fuck? Oh my god, monkey work. Yes, we are. We live together. He's like 20 feet away from me, behind me. Yes. We're both, yeah. I mean, we're pretty much the same person. This country, I mean, I know why hospitals charge that much because I worked in hospitals and I know why they do it. It's because insurance companies refuse to pay for so many things in the hospital. So they make up for it by tacking those costs onto everything else. That's the only way a hospital can run. It's really fucked up. So you're basically fucking yourself with a beard. Yes. Awesome sauce. Congrats. He's kick ass. Thank you. I know. He's pretty dope. I like him. I think I'll keep him. While approaching Kapler V, the blah, blah blah suddenly received a glancing hit. Uh-oh. That sucks. Don't die. Okay, we're making general districts. Excellent. Make me money. My x-ray. Oh, fuck. I had x-rays, too. My x-ray for my leg for my sprained ankle hospital visit was 3K. X-rays and a boot cost 3K. Yeah, I had x-rays, too. I forgot about that. So I had x-rays, a piss test, and they gave me some drugs. I wonder what that's going to cost. You guys want to take bets? Just kidding. Don't freak me out. I don't want to know. I'm just going to not think about System it, because otherwise complete. I'll have a heart attack. And I don't want to die today. It's not my goal. No way. 
three dollars perfect two hundred and sixty seven thousand go fuck yourself i'll have a heart attack and die if that happens where are you wow you sure are out there aren't you 